All right then gang, so the next thing I'd like to talk about before we start our project, and this is gonna be the last video before we do start that project, is modals, otherwise known as pop-ups. So you know when you go on a website and after five seconds you get a little pop-up, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So first of all, since I don't wanna wait around for that five seconds, what we'll do is create a button which is gonna trigger that pop-up. So let's create an anchor tag, give this a class of button and also a class of orange to make it orange. Then what we're gonna do is go inside this anchor tag and just say terms and conditions. So we'll press this button if we want to view the pop-up which has the terms and conditions inside. Now, I'll come back to this in a second, but first of all, now I want to create the actual pop-up itself, the modal. So to do that, we create a div with a class of modal, okay? Now we also need to give this an ID because this ID is what's gonna identify this modal so that when we click on this button, we're gonna say which ID modal that we want to open. So we'll pass that ID in here and it will be terms. You can call this whatever you want. Okay, so now we have the ID of the modal. What we need to do is give this an href attribute. It already has one over here and pass in which ID that we want this button to open. So it's hash and then terms. Makes sense? Because this is an ID selector, then terms, which is this thing. All right then, so now this button will open this thing, but we also need to give it an extra class of modal hyphen trigger to do that. Let's just place anything in here for now. I'll just say test. Now we also need to activate this in jQuery because at the minute, if I save and view in a browser, if I click here, nothing actually happens. We need to activate this in jQuery because it's more of an interactive component. So let's go down here and create a new script tag. And inside that, I'm gonna do dollar sign, then documents, and then outside dot ready. Then we'll fire a function when the document is ready. And inside this function is where we're gonna initialize our modal. So to do that, all we need to do is grab hold of this thing right here, this class. So it's dot modal. Then we use a method called da, 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 modal. All right, so that's that. If we save it, press on this, then we get this little modal right here and we can click anywhere else to close it. That's pretty good, right? Now at the minute, this looks pretty pants. So let's just change up the content. I'm gonna get rid of all of that. And instead, what I'm gonna do is first of all, add in a div with a class of modal hyphen content. So just like we used card content, we're using modal content here just to stylize the content a little bit. We'll also add an H4 inside and say terms and conditions like so. We'll save that and let's view it first of all in a browser. Okay, starting to look a little bit better now, but I'd like to add some content underneath as well as rectify that spelling mistakes. So conditions and we'll add a P tag underneath. Now I've already copied and pasted all of this lorem ipsum for you, so you don't have to watch me typing it out. Then underneath that we'll add some links, but we'll do that in a second. Let's just see what this looks like so far. Okay, looking good. Now I'd like a little link or button right here that says agree and that's going to close the modal right so you could have a cross up here to close it i'm just going to do a button instead and i'm going to do that in the modal footer now there's a special class we can use for the modal footer and i'm going to put that in a div so div dot modal hyphen footer now we don't have to place our content in the modal footer this just stylizes it a bit and i think it looks nice so i'm going to do an anchor tag and this is gonna have a class of modal hyphen close. We'll also give this a class of BTN to make it look like a button and make it orange as well. All right then, so the href is gonna go nowhere, but if we type in here, agree and close, then what this button will do is close the pop-up or the modal because it has this class right there. It knows to do that. So let's save it and view this once more. Okay, looking good, agree and close, and voila, it goes. So there we go, guys. Again, very simple to do these complex things that would otherwise take maybe 10, 15 minutes or even 30 minutes to create. So that's Modos for you. And I said this was the last video before we start to create our project, and it is. 
So starting in the next video, we're going to start to create that project that I showed you at the very start of this series.